Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Thursday. Focus in on my face camera. There we go. It's a lovely day outside, it seems. It's bright and sunshiny, not a cloud in the sky at the moment, so that is a plus. Um, new classes start tomorrow. Also, the YouTube convention starts tomorrow. My book should be downstairs on the front porch waiting for me so I can get a head start on some of the reading for this class. And by head start, I mean like 12 hours ahead because why not, right? <clears throat> Breathing today has been okay. It's kind of crappy. Uh, it's been crappy since the weekend. So I'm trying my best to um, not exert myself beyond a specific point or that would end terribly. But, really nothing planned for the day. It's been nice not to have to do school work for this week since uh, last Friday. And uh, just looking forward to starting it back up because it gives me something productive to do during the day. It also allows me to get out of the house for a few minutes, which some days I don't leave the house, but other days I can't stand being in my house for more than a certain amount of time. It just feels like it's a encapsulating prison some days, but time to get out of here. So I've been here at the hospital visiting with my friend Sam, and I'm literally standing outside of an ER and I'm about to do a duoneb. Double duoneb. Why? Because my lungs are little fuck faces. So I'm gonna do this home. Hopefully it works. If not, off to the hospital I go. I hate lung disease. <laughs> I just can't win some days. Hurt. Well, I'm uh, back at the casa, and uh, I still feel like absolute shit. My lungs don't like me. I'm in excruciating amounts of pain. And I always put a brave face on. Because that's what I do. And it sucks because I know I should have stayed. And I should have told the doctor. I don't still feel good. But it's whatever. It's not my place to tell a doctor his job, or her job, depending on if your doctor is a woman or not. I think what pisses me off the most about hospitals is it's not that they disagree with your diagnosis, it's that they don't fucking listen to a patient when they tell them this is what works because it might sound bad or it might sound like I'm a drug seeker or I'm a lingerer or something along those lines and I am not any of those. But when you don't do what works, of course I'm gonna come back. It's simple fucking science, people. If I have a proven treatment that is working, why? Why, why, why would you change it? Or do something else and then ask me the question when you know you're gonna push your own agenda anyway. A little upset, which also doesn't help with the breathing. And come to find out that my uh, sugar 
and my random blood test was over 200. Normals 80 to 120. And that's random. Anything above 200 in a random is considered diabetes or diabetic level. So now I probably am a diabetic because of all the steroids I've been on. Which is one of the issues that nobody tells you about when you go on steroids. But when you're on them for long times like I am, it has a propensity of destroying your pancreas. It's life. And sometimes it's hard. And other days it sucks. And when you can't breathe, you know how it is. It's fucking terrible. Anything else I say tonight would be more of a rant than anything important, so I'll keep it to myself. But, uh, keep a smile on your face, right? It's like 3 o'clock in the morning, so I'm gonna head upstairs, I'm gonna go to bed. Hopefully I'm well enough to go to this YouTube conference this weekend, because if not, that's a lot of money I spent down the drain, but not nearly as bad as some of the other stuff I've bought in my lifetime, so. Welcome to life. Welcome to this journey. So I'll end the vlog like I do every night by saying, as always, have a great night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.